everyone, and welcome to another sponsored tablet video, where they accompanied by my cat, Spooky, once again, and, uh, of course, we have Mia there. So I just want to thank Gahoman again for sending another sponsored tablet. Uh, I've been really looking forward to a tablet like this because this one is a screen tablet, you know, the one that you drop physically on the screen. I've never had one of those before, so this is going to be a very interesting experience, and something I've always wanted to try. Right, so we got the graphics IPS pen tablet display, and let's open this baby up, shall we? Mia, are you curious about the box too? There we go. Alright, so it comes with your usual instructions. Download code, all that kind of jazz. You get your glove, complimentary dueling glove, alright. <laughs> oh boy. See what's in this tiny cardboard piece first. Let's see. Bolts. Cables. Wrench thingy. Oh, what's this? Mia. Alright, Mia wants to go. She wants to be free. Towel pen? Towel pen! Yay! Okay, now for the big part. Oh, okay. Just a screen. <laughs> the, the screen holder thing. Whoops. Uh, I meant to pull that out from the part where it's actually opened. Wow, look at all the mechanics. It's like a tiny little saw blade in there. <laughs> Guess this is just a big thing to hold it. Wow. My whole arm can fit inside here. Jesus Christ, this huge. Guys, look at the bread and butter. Yeah. Here it is. Oh boy. Okay. This box is now empty. I can put this somewhere else. Oh, hey, look. More information. You see that, right? There you go. Pause and read. Anything on this side? There is. Pause and read. I don't feel like reading. <laughs> Hello, spooky. Spooky. She wants to sit in it. This is a really reflective surface. Please peel off this mask before application. Damn. Damn, big screen. Look, spooky for comparison. She's a large cat. Right, and that is the entire set of what this tablet comes with. Uh, thank you, Gahoman, so much for the sponsor. Let's go and test this baby out now, because uh, I'm very curious to see how this will perform. See you guys in the video! When it came to setting up the tablet with my PC, downloading the program was extremely easy. However, getting the tablet cables to be hooked to my PC was kind of a pain in the butt. If you have a laptop, then honestly you don't need to worry, but if you have a desktop like me, then you'll probably understand the struggle of having to plug cables to the back of your PC. I will say that I am thankful this tablet doesn't have too many cables to plug in, just one for the power and one to connect your PC to the monitor. After you download the program from the website, you're all set. But like I've mentioned early on in the video, one of my reasons I never upgraded to a tablet like this is due to my limited amount of space. So it was extremely hard for me to find a spot for it while I was recording. But just say I spent a lot of time drawing on the floor. Adding to that, I also use my keyboard for a lot of shortcuts when I draw. So for this I had to use the shortcut buttons on the side, which took a bit of time to get used to it. So once you get your tablet all set up, it acts like another monitor screen. You can use this not just for drawing, but for watching videos or going on social media and such. One thing I was very impressed with was how well the tablet screen was able to match my PC screen. There wasn't much of a difference in color for the monitors, which is a plus because having an inaccurate screen really hinders your drawings. And trust me, nothing sucks more than when you're using green, but then it turns out you were actually using yellow this whole time. One thing I realized later on is that you can actually change the resolution of your tablet screen to better match your PCs. While I was working as you can see here, the tablet was 1920 by 1080 I use a 4K monitor so having everything zoomed in was kind of a struggle until I realized you could change the screen size and the settings. Honestly, it was a total lifesaver and just made it more enjoyable to draw on this tablet. When it comes to the tablet pen, it was actually pretty accurate, unless you were super zoomed out of the canvas. For smaller details, I 100% recommend zooming in for those kinds of things, or else you won't be able to get that exact accurate mark of what you're looking for. 
when compared to the normal tablet you usually buy, your tablet takes up the screen of your monitor, and your tablet is just the mouse that can go wherever you like. Where for this one, since you're also drawing with your hands, sometimes you can't really see what's there in the way, so certain details might be unnoticeable to you, it's definitely just a lot easier to zoom into the art piece if you can. One thing I really enjoyed was coloring on this tablet. It's kind of hard to explain, but for some reason when I got to working on the shading, it just felt really nice to start painting the art. Like, it was super smooth and just kind of flowed very naturally when it came to just drawing in general, so the surface and tablet pen have a really nice flow. I also noticed that when it came to drawing programs, it seemed like I had a better time drawing on Clip Studio Paint compared to Paint Tool Size, so just kind of keep that in mind to see what the tablet's compatible with. It is compatible with Paint Tool Sci, but Clip Studio Paint just works so much better. And those are all my pros and cons about this tablet. And before I end this video, I just want to give a shout out to Gahoman's contest called The Season of Whimsy and Wonderful. This contest will have three prizes. Third place is a Gahoman Pen Tablet M10K 2018. Prize number two is a Gahoman Pen Tablet M106K Pro. First place will be a Gahoman Pen Tablet Display PD 2200, 21.5 inch. The contest time is between January 1st to March 10th. So if you haven't joined in yet, you still have time. You can check that out in the link below. Good luck to anyone who's entering to win. And with that said, I hope you enjoy seeing little Danny be animated hopping in and out. See you all next time. Bye.